Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this video demonstration uh, of uh, a new feature that I'm working on in Novelty and that feature is uh, support for pixel shaders and uh, for those of you who don't know uh, pixel shaders are essentially a way to do like programmatical effects if that makes sense so you can like write code to manipulate how an object is being rendered which for a content creator is super useful so if you're a power user and you like to have control over every specific pixel of your game then pixel shaders is a great way to do that so it's quite hard to explain um, really so I decided to make this video just to show you essentially and I think video is much better than just posting screenshots, so uh, here we go. So I'm just going to add uh, this picture of a frog that I found. And I'm going to apply some shaders to this. So I've written up a few shaders myself just to demonstrate. And as I was uh, building out this feature, uh, so the first shader I have is a grayscale shader so I just double click here and I apply the shader and now we can see uh, the image turned monochrome which is nice I suppose so might not be the most uh, impressive feature until you look at the property inspector so if you see here uh, there's a new group here like shader grayscale and I can enable disable this shader but I can also uh, drag the slide and I can decide just how much desaturation I want. So this is a shader running, uh, like recalculating the uh, colors of every pixel of this image based on well, this value, this slider value. And uh, so that's one shader. So here I have another, which is a little bit more advanced. So this is a blur shader, which blurs. I can slide this and uh, yeah so that's a cool feature I suppose and this is quite a silly one so this is I wrote this just to demonstrate like the kind of things that you could do with a pixel shader because well it's you can do quite a lot actually so this one just renders the image as a series of dots and you can control the size of these dots so here's like big dots very big dots or tiny dots so that's cool, and uh, what else do we have? So we have this one, so adjust hue, lightness, and saturation. Uh, I messed up the order of that, but here we go. So I can slide this value there, I can change that, and yeah, you kind of get the idea by now. Um, so another thing you could do, so you can animate these uh, properties, which is quite nice. So I'll just add a trait. Let's say I want to add the hue value from uh, minus one to one over, let's do five, six seconds, and then preview and editor. So now we get this. Um, what else? So here I have one. So this is an, another kind of animated shader. So this is animated by default. Um, and uh, again, I can change a bunch of properties here. So you can see this is entirely dynamic because a pixel shader is essentially like a tiny program that you run for every pixel of an object. And you can feed different inputs to this program and get different results. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm just giving it different input here. And uh, I'm sure you can understand like the, like how super useful this can be. Uh, to make like really nice effects. Um, so you can also do uh, pixel shaders like a post-processing, what was it called, a post-process pixel shader effect. Um, so here I have written a few, so I'm just gonna remove this, disable. And so here I have a blur filter, so this is a, like a selective blur filter where I can just drag out like size out an object which that or an, an area that I want to be blurred and again I can adjust the blurriness and this is a very basic one this just inverts the color and 
whoops, ah, oh, what did I do? There we go. Uh, here's a mosaic shader, which you can see I can do uh, like a mosaic effect, which obviously quite useful. And so this is my favorite one. This is a magnifying glass that I created. And so when I made this shader didn't take that long to make to be honest. So this is not a super advanced shader. This is frankly quite easy to do. Uh that's just the nature of the pixel shaders. So they're very simplistic. There's like very little amount of code that you have to write. Um so I'm quite happy with this. So again I can adjust whatever property I want and uh I can actually copy this and have like a layered effect. So this is actually quite a useful feature that I'm adding to Novelty and uh, I'm sure you like it as much as I do. Uh, 